Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about U Sports, something we don't talk about often enough, an unbelievable level of hockey and a great place to get your education in Canada. Now, what is U Sports? University Sports. U Sports is the Canadian level university hockey. It is great hockey. It is very different from NCAA, but a great place to play hockey, get your education, maybe go back to the pros or end your career. Funny how I said go back to the pros. One of the major differences between U Sports and NCAA is that you could be a professional hockey player and go back and play in U Sports. You could play in the East coast in the ahl go back to university and play now there is a time lapse you need to take a year off from playing but after that you're eligible to play u sports a few of my friends that i grew up playing with played major juniors went and played pro they signed in the ahl they played a couple years and then said all right it's time to get my education they went back to some of the top at university programs took a year off practicing with the team and then played their time and got their degree now the second major difference between u sports and ncaa is the fact that they take major junior players they do not have an amateur rule so u sports is mainly filled with players who played in the WHL, the OHL, and the QMJHL that either realized they wanted to go get their education right before trying to go play pro or went to play pro, realized it wasn't for them, went back to school, or lastly, weren't good enough to play pro. They were fourth line guys in major juniors. They were healthy scratches in major juniors and they went straight to university. So the two big differences is the fact that they allow pro guys and they also take directly from the major junior leagues rather than just junior A. Junior A guys can play a new sport. It is not easy. You need to stand out. You need to perform well because like I said, you're competing competing now with the major junior guys and the junior A guys and the European guys. So you need to perform, but U Sports is a very, very high level of hockey. And today we're going to talk about two aspects of U Sports, the compete level and the education. Let's start with the compete level. Now, there is some whispers and not many, but it is some stuff that we hear that U Sports is not competitive, as competitive as NCAA. U Sports is unbelievable hockey. It is great, great level of hockey. Are all the programs as competitive, as strong? Absolutely not. There's a program in the Maritimes, UNB. They dominate every single year. They do a great job of recruiting and every single year they're a powerhouse. There's other programs that don't recruit as hard. They just wait for guys to sign up and say, okay, I'm gonna come play. Now, the difference between the two is most guys that are in U Sports are there for different reasons compared to NCAA. Um, if I take pr other programs, for example, and I'm not going to name names, but there are some programs where you only practice twice a week or players will build their school schedule. And if they have to miss three practices, they miss three practices. They don't build their school schedule around the practice schedule. They build their school schedule and fit hockey within that. However, the talent pool is just as good as NCAA. It may not seem like it, but the players that are playing U Sports are great hockey players, right? If it's not just as good, it's not far from it. You got guys who played four years of major juniors and have their education paid for. You have top junior A players who just missed the NCAA mark by a little bit or couldn't afford the NCAA opportunities they had. So they went to U Sports because it's much, cheap, much cheaper than the NCAA route. And then you also have the pro guys who played one, two, three, even five years of pro and are coming back to school. So the level of hockey is there. These are great hockey players. Now, some of the older guys, the 27, 28 year olds, they're not going as hard as when they played. That is for sure. They're not going as hard as when they were 21, but they're smarter. They're stronger. They know how to slow down the game in ways that the younger generation don't because they played that much longer. They played at a higher level. They have that experience. So the compete level is misleading, but it's great hockey. Very competitive, very fast paced, very skilled, very physical. The misconception between U Sports and NCAA is that guys don't compete as hard because they don't want to go play pro afterwards now as much as we don't see as many u sport guys graduating and going to play pro afterwards compared to ncaa these guys either already played pro or still trying to play pro they just fall under the radar so that's where the misconception lies because every parent i talk to all says well u sports doesn't develop pro players so why would my son go there well first because he's getting a great education he's playing great hockey secondly third he gets to continue to play hockey and fourth he can go play pro he can he absolutely can he just needs to perform like if he went to NCAA. It is the exact same thing. He just needs to perform. Remember that if you come out of U Sports, you're coming out with a university degree, you're giving yourself a chance professionally afterwards, and you develop that much more because there's great coaches, great experience, great players. So you develop that much more. So it's kind of your choice if you want to go play pro afterwards or not, right? You have something to fall back on. You have a degree, you can go get a job and start that career. Or you go play pro for a couple of years, try to make that work and fall back to your degree. So it becomes a personal choice at that point. What do you want to do? Do you still want to grind it out in the minors making a small income and work your way up or do you want to go the professional route where you'll probably make a little more right away and that's where the dilemma lies is at 26 27 years old do you want to go make 500 a week or 500 a month depending on what league you're starting in do you want to go live on a bus 15 hour bus trips or do you want to buy a home and start your life 
that is the professional decision that is difficult to make at that age. And that's true for NCAA players as well. Any level university player, you're graduating a degree, you have to do the pros and cons and see what's a better fit for you. But it's not a question of is the compete level there, is the hockey there. It is some unbelievable hockey, fun to watch, great players, great experience, definitely a very cool life experience. Now on the education side, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, most of these programs, not all, I know in the comments, you guys are going to say not all the programs are like this, not all, I'm specifically saying that, will build their school schedule. And if they have to miss practice for a class, they miss practice for a class. They do not build their schedule around practice schedule, or most of them don't. I have a couple of my past teammates who went to school and they missed every Monday practice for class, and they still played every single week in games because that's how it works. You're getting a great education. At the end of the day, you're a student athlete and student always comes first. You have to go to class, you have to do your homework, you have to study for your exams and pass your exams to play. There's no question about it. In any university level, CIS, U Sports or NCAA, you need to pass your classes to be able to play. It is that simple. You are a student before an athlete. Now, one thing to consider is where you're going to school. Not all schools have medical programs. Not all schools have law programs or architecture programs. I went to Mercyhurst in NCAA. We didn't have a medical program. Nobody became a doctor out of there. We had student, we had athletic training program. My wife studied that. So the education is there. You just have to pick the school that provides you the best degree for what you're looking for. A lot of players will pick a U sports team based on the education they get because they're, like I mentioned, they're coming back from pros or they understand that pros might not be in there for them. So they're going to pick a place to play that has the program they want and the reputation they want. If you're studying business, there's plenty of programs that have great business programs, but not many institutions have world renowned health programs. McGill University of Montreal is a great, great program for that. And it attracts a lot of high level players. However, if you look at an institution like McGill, it's not easy to get into. It doesn't matter if you're one of the best hockey players, they pick the student first. And if you get denied based on your academics, you can't play. It's that simple. There's no backdoor entry based on I'm a great hockey player because you will not be able to succeed in the classroom and they won't keep you. So again, U sports, just like NCAA, the academics are just as important on either side. You want to play, you need to pass, you need to succeed in the classroom, not you don't get to play. At the U sports level, they are still treated like pros. They got great rinks. They got the gym. They got gear every season. They have nutrition. They have a nice bus. They have all the bells and whistles that NCAA programs do. Now, they don't have the 15, 20 million dollar facilities like University of Maine that's getting a brand new facility or Wisconsin or Ohio State or Penn State with seven different hot tubs and cold tubs and a sauna or North Dakota that has um, a bike room that adjusts the climate and adjusts the inclination to really push you. They don't have that, right? They don't have the same NHL post grads that donate to the program every year so that's a big difference between NCAA and U sports is the fact that a lot more NCAA guys are in the NHL versus U sports and those NHL guys and other boosters and communities bring money back to the program to continue to develop it and make it into these big fancy incredible programs that we see today and that we love watching which is why they develop more NHL players right it's a, it's a giant circle you go to NCAA you make it to the NHL you donate back to your school your school makes more NHL players brings in more people wanting to go play NCAA there it's just a giant circle it, it's the cycle of why the NCAA want more well known than U Sports and why it develops more NHL players than U Sports. So that's the difference between the two is kind of the funding behind them. But at the end of the day, you're still getting a great level of hockey. You get to play longer. You get a great education and a great path to success, whether you want to play pro or if you want to go work professionally. To wrap up this video, don't overlook U Sports. If you have an opportunity to play U Sports, it's an affordable opportunity and you get to play, go, right? People think, well, if I don't go NCAA, I'm busted. I don't get to play anywhere. No, look at the U Sports options. You'll get a great education. You'll you'll get to play hockey three, four, maybe even five more years. You'll develop as a person on and off the ice and who knows what comes after. A lot of players forget that you control your own destiny and destiny in the sense that if you get on the ice and don't perform, nobody wants you. But if you work and work and work every single day, opportunities will come. It might not be your first choice opportunity. However, it's still an option that most others would dream about and kill for. So take it and run with it. Get on the ice, perform, and who knows what comes out of there. You sports guys transfer to NCAA. It happens. You sports guys go pro and make it high up and make a living from this, whether in North America or in Europe. It all, de all depends on the mentality you have, the work you put in and what you do on the ice. Because nobody else can control what you do on the ice except for you. You get on the ice and you put the left skate on the right foot, well, that's on you. That'll explain exactly why your career is going the way it's going. So when you're playing junior hockey and you're not sure what your next step is, take a look at NCAA and take a look at U Sports. They are both unbelievable options that can lead to a great future for you. If you like this video, please click on this one or this one. They may interest you as well.